What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and on this week's episode, we're in the Bahamas. This place is magical, so, so beautiful. Steph invited Jocelyn and I to come join her on her sailboat with some friends and she basically asked me to be the chef of the boat for the week. And we're gonna be free diving, we're gonna be catching our own food, we're gonna be cooking our own food, we're gonna be living on this boat entirely for the whole entire week. So we'll uh, go introduce you to everybody and get the video rolling, because this week it's gonna be amazing. Started morning by preparing some breakfast. I was just making something light, some yogurt with some fruits. And before I even finished breakfast, we had a fish on. We got a fish on, guys. What is that song? So that we while we're sailing, we go. Uh, we just drag that, drag that line behind us. Hopefully, we catch a yes, fish, and we fit, we got one now. Right now, we have no protein on the boat, so we need some fish. Here we go. Good job, go. man. Nice one. There we go, little Sierra mackerel. Oh, this is gonna be tasty lunch right here. <laughs> yes. Way to start the day. Way to start the day. That's a sushi fish right there. Thank you. Thank you for providing us. Thank you. Have you bought a zero mackerel before? No, never. First one. The teeth are super sharp. Yeah. <laughs> We got another fish on. I keep taking a bite of my breakfast and then fish on. <laughs> Haven't been able to eat. Keep eating. All right. <laughs> now Alex is taking care of this one. Nice. Nicely done. On we'll the cedar it. plug. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Nice. Oh shoot. This is a good one. Dude. Fish on, boys. Bingo. But it's taking off. Is it possible it's tuna? No, I don't think no, it's tuna. No, not in this net. <laughs> Only mackerel, yellow jack, or two bucks. Yeah, there's a nice one. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Nice oh, one. that's a nice one. Good, good, good. good one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> That's a good one, even bigger than the last. This is gonna feed us for sure. We got another fish on over there, Jocelyn's handling it. Yes! Go Jocelyn! It's so light. You're just so strong. You're so strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got baby. Okay, oh, if, if we don't eat it, then you can let yeah, it go. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. Just this morning, right after we started sailing, we have already caught three Sierra mackerels. So the day is off to an amazing start. Let's hope we can keep this up. And soon after breakfast, we go in to the water for our first dive. And Steph really wanted me to get a hogfish. So I partnered with her and I just followed her around. Uh, and she was pointing out where the fish were for me. And we were diving in about anywhere from 15 to 25 feet, I believe. And she pointed out first a small grouper, and I went down to it, but um, and I took a shot, but it was a little bit way too, way too far still for me to be able to hit it with that shot. So completely missed on my first attempt, and the grouper swam off. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Second fish, there was a little hogfish, and she gave me some pointers. I went back down, and that time I actually couldn't, actually kept losing sight of the hogfish. And um, yeah, I, I, let, I ended up not being able to catch that one as well. But on the third attempt, she gave me a little more pointers on what I could do better, and I dove down to about 20, 25 feet, lined up my shot. The hogfish was faced away from me, so I couldn't take the shot yet, and I just kind of took my time, waited for that fish to just turn towards me, and bam, as soon as it did, did that, I took the shot, 
and ended up getting my first hogfish on a pole spear and here in the Bahamas we're only allowed to use pole spears actually uh, spear guns are not allowed so it does make you know spear fishing a little more challenging but it is so much fun and so rewarding you have to get so close to the fish in it to be able to get a catch so it's a challenge Hogfish, baby! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Good job, Taku! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! Yay! <laughs> Nicely done! Woo. Woo. This was a very nice one! Awesome yeah. job! How'd that feel? That was good! Yeah? Yeah! Did you see how you threw it away? That was so I epic! Threw it away. You waited, you were Wait. patient! Yeah, I waited until it kind of turned to me! Yep! Yeah. yeah! That was awesome! Awesome! Hell yeah! Nice yeah. hog! Thank you. So big shout out to Steph because she's a master free dive instructor so she really knows what she's doing and like I said she has four world records for the biggest fish on the pole spear like African pompano she's got the uh, mahi mahi uh, and a couple other fish. First spot of the day and I got this nice uh, hog fish here and Gavin got even a nicer hog fish than that one and also Now. Hi guys, so this is Steph. She is the charter captain of Sail LV and four time world record holder, all kinds of awesome stuff. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Where are we going? Well, so we just sailed from Nassau to the Barry Islands and we jumped in the water here, did a little refresher uh, free diving lesson for Taku, and then we went and targeted some hogfish. So, on our way to the spot where we were spear fishing we threw out the fishing lines caught a bunch of mackerel made this sushi chef really happy <laughs> and then jumped in the water and he shot his first hogfish yeah already 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 and the trip is this is day one yeah we just started <laughs> so we're looking forward to an amazing trip i'll introduce you guys to all the rest of the crew for the week thank you for having us yeah thanks, thanks for, for the being invitation. here yeah i'm looking forward to this whole week yep it's me gonna too. be awesome Guess what guys, we're in for a treat because uh, there's two chefs on board actually. We got Chef Mike right here. How we doing Chef? Yeah, good man. Here in the Bahamas, heading to Tiger Beach, about to swim with some sharks. We're gonna be cooking over some fire, catching lots of fish and uh, cooking what we can find. Foraging and uh, having a blast. It's gonna be great. Heck yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Vera, and I'm here in the Bahamas often. This time I'm getting ready to launch my own retreats that mix resiliency and the natural ocean world and the ocean skills that we all practice, free diving, spear fishing, ocean to table, it's gonna be awesome. Hey guys, my name's Alex and I'm a content creator and I travel the world diving with big apex predators. We just finished spearing for some hogfish, can eat some good food and ready to go. Here's Gavin from South Africa. He's filleting the hogfish right now. Okay. I've been brought here to the Bahamas for the first time with my Beautiful girlfriend Alex, and uh, yeah, really enjoying my time. First day, first hogfish. Okay, we also have Laurent and I'm yeah. Laurent. Uh, what do you do here? I am the underwater photographer. Underwater Mostly photographer. I've been in Nassau, I've been in the Bahamas for uh, three and a half years, been on Sail V for six months. About six months? Yep. I'm gonna do, uh, just became a uh, free dive instructor. That's yeah, awesome, so man. Enjoy spear fishing. You basically live here, right? You live here. This is your home. You guys already know, you haven't seen her, but you already know we got beautiful Jocelyn there. And she's petting a couple dogs. We got Zeke that's licking himself right now. And we also have Sleepyhead, Sleepyhead Finn. So we have quite the crew on board for this trip. It's gonna be an epic time. Stay tuned and let's get it. I just wanted to get everybody's introduction in so you know who we're hanging out with this entire week on the sailboat. We have an amazing group of people here. Everybody here on this boat has their own business, works for themselves, and we're all living the dream right here in paradise. The rest of the day, we're gonna be sailing for the next 12 hours to get to our destination for tomorrow and that is going to be Tiger Beach. 
and at Tiger Beach, there are tiger sharks, and that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, we're gonna start prepping our Sierra macro for lunch. I'm gonna make some poke. And I just made a little poke because that was like a real easy thing to make. Dig in, guys. Dig in. Thank you, Chef Taco. Super stoked. So nice. That is so good. Delicious. Awesome. Awesome. So, so good. Wow. Can you believe we caught that this morning? Yeah. I haven't had poke in a while. Ocean to table. Yeah. That's Ocean right. Ocean to table. That's right. Along the way, I made a quick snack with the Amico Jack. I made a little carpaccio. And the Amico Jack is basically the same as an Amber Jack. Uh, it's very similar, at least. And the meat is very similar as well. And Amber Jack is one of my favorite fish for sashimi and just eating it raw. Uh, it's, it's one of the best. And I sliced each piece really thin, very, very thin and plating it on a plate with in a circular pattern and I just topped it off with a bit of cherry tomatoes, serrano peppers, lime zest, olive oil and sea salt. Uh, really easy stuff you know just that, that thin thin cut is what really um, makes a difference. I'm really having a, a great time cooking for everybody. Being the chef on the boat uh, it's an awesome time. It kinda, yeah, it's, it's fun serving people again. Oh my god. Fire. How's it man? You shot it. Mmm. It's amazing. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my this is more that. Mmm. It's with really some lime <laughs> zest on it. Oh yeah. And the chili? Oh. I'm all about that chili. I'm all about that chili, bro. Oh yeah. Steph actually has a YouTube channel as well. It's called Say La Vie. She only has a few videos on there right now, but what are you planning on doing with it? So what I'm planning on doing is kind of showing you the day in the life of a lot of days of my life. <laughs> um, and right now I'm in the Bahamas, but my sail plans are to, uh, in September, sail towards Panama, go through the Panama Canal over to Galapagos and then cross the Pacific and go to French Polynesia, get lost over there. And it's just gonna be a lot of sailing, fixing the boat, yeah. Uh, dodging weather and free diving, spear fishing, shark diving, seeing all the things. Awesome, and I'm sure you'll break a couple more records. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, not too many more bones. <laughs> <laughs> all right, make sure to check her out, guys. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you, guys. Thanks for following along. <laughs> Soon after that, we're getting close to dinner time, and we have plenty of fish on board now. We got my fog fish. We got. Uh, Gavin's hogfish, we got the, the Sierra mackerels. So what do I make? We're gonna make some sushi. I'm gonna start off doing a salt and sugar cure 50-50 of the Sierra mackerel uh, because later we're gonna do a light smoking on this uh, and it's gonna be delicious. Uh, this, this salt and sugar cure I do it usually for about 45 to 50 minutes and just leave that in the fridge while it does its thing. Next thing I do with it, I just rinse it off, pat it dry, and we're gonna sear the skin with a torch.
then we smoke it with our little makeshift smoker which works great uh, it's just for about five minutes and the trick to getting the smoke all the way through the meat uh, with such little smoking is you gotta wrap it with some plastic wrap right after it is done and cool it down um, so make sure it doesn't uh, cook too much and this is going to be delicious after a couple of hours so we're gonna let that rest a little bit and prep everything else with that smoked Sierra mackerel I sliced it for some nigiri pieces and I made some smoked Sierra mackerel nigiri Smoked Sierra mackerel nigiri. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to put anything on it. There's the right amount of soy sauce on it already. All you have to do is put it in your mouth. Wow. I did a little lesson on how to make rolls with everybody and they, and they all kind of had a go at it. Uh, we just made some rolls with the scrap pieces that I had from slicing some sashimi. Handful of rice. Just a small handful. Not too much. It's actually like 65 grams if you're measuring. Uh, <laughs> and then you just, <laughs> just roll it down, roll it down. Make sure your hand is moist but not too wet, just moist. And we're gonna put some sesame seeds on here. We could do a lot of different toppings but got sesame seeds. And it's gonna stick a little. So we're just gonna wet it. We'll put a couple pieces of cucumber. We got some fish scraps here. I got I got more what stuff kind of we fish could put. Is that? It's just scraps from the other fish. Like it's all the fish basically. And then we could do it just like that. We could also add some avocados in there. Beautiful. And then you're just gonna roll it and make sure it touches. You see that? Touching? Yeah. Roll it over. Use the mat and you just kinda firmly, firmly put it down. You can rotate it one time, just kind of make sure that bottom is sealed. You can top in the sides if you it's like. It's so good. It's so, so good. good. And That's yeah. perfection. Wow, brother. That's how you want it to look. Not sure you don't want to do just like all of them? <laughs> okay, a little water just here. Just a barely. 65 grams. 65 grams of rice. Yeah, make sure your hands moist. Wet okay. enough, not too wet though. Okay. Well, the rice won't, uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, the rice is not really... Spread it, if spread it evenly. Spreading it. Okay. Yeah, a little Oops. more rice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you need about 10 grams of rice more. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I have 55 <laughs> grams, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can sprinkle it on there. Woo! Okay, girl. Right. Right. A little there sprinkle. Yeah. And then you put a little water yeah. underneath. Flip it. Yep. flip it over. What does that mean? Flip it Swink. Yep. All right. We're gonna do a few cucumbers, yeah. fish, we're gonna do that Can you see big daddy, that big daddy, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Like that, is that good? Yep. Okay, okay, and then you just take it, you make sure it touches. That's not bad. Alright, take that one, take the mat, and then, yep. Do it, give it a little flip. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Is that good? Good. Oh, hey, sweet, sweet, okay. Hey, a little yeah, skinny. Yeah, Dan Tuck is going to judge everybody. Go. Okay, go next. Go. Nice. And for the finale, I made a beautiful sashimi platter with my hogfish and almost every fish that we caught today was on this little platter. What is, what is going on? A little sashimi platter. You're kidding. Hogfish oh sashimi platter. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the hogfish that I shot. Woo! Uh, bro. Here is hogfish, but with skin on. Skin is blanched, so it, it has a little bit of a chewy texture, but that's to be expected. Um, and this one right here is also hogfish, but that's skin off. The jack, it's just a little seared on top. And uh, we have the also the jack again. This is the belly side. This is the also the belly side, but skin wow. off. And we got the smoked Sierra mackerel again. Oh, I like God. how it was like. So here's the hogfish that I shot. Yeah, like the head that I shot. shot. Right <laughs> yep. Brother, really, really beautiful work, bro. 
and to be honest it's been a while since I cooked food for other people and it's something that I, I really miss and really remind me of why I love cooking. It's an aspect of cooking that I don't uh, get to enjoy as much while creating these YouTube videos. It's usually just cooking you know for myself and then just cook for me and Jocelyn uh, and usually not for too many other people so I really had a, a great time cooking for everybody and yeah looking forward to the entire week doing this making delicious food so make sure to subscribe hit the bell notification so you get notified when i upload or you can also check in every tuesday for taku tuesday uploads thank you all for watching this video make sure you hit that thumbs up see you guys on the next one peace